doing the dishes, folding laundry and packing a lunchbox. Scientists are exploring the different ways in which robots could help us. How exactly could robots shape our everyday lives? Our topic on Shift today. Japan produces around 50% of the world's robots. No wonder it's called the Robot Nation. There's even an official government scheme that focuses on a new industrial revolution through robotics. But robots are commonplace in many other areas too. In Japan, where nearly 30% of the population is 65 or older, robots are more important for personal use. Here's Hiroshi Ishiguro, a world-leading roboticist, on why. In Japan, we need to have more robots that can support our daily life. I believe they can help uh, to develop that kind of a robot society, the sim human symbiotic the robot society in our future. Symbiotic robots? That sounds a little too science fiction-y to me. Still, many tech companies claim that their robots can really make a difference in housework. But this is still far ahead in the future, even in Japan. At the moment, most robots take care of one specific chore and leave the rest to humans, like me. There is a Japanese startup, however, working on a robot which they claim will take care of all housework. But there's a catch. Introducing Yugo, the all-around talent and future household superstar. Yugo can grip, is height adjustable and rolls on wheels. The startup Miro Robotics promotes Yugo as a more discreet and cheaper alternative to a human cleaner, who are pretty uncommon in Japan. At the moment, Yugo still appears to be quite slow and clumsy. But in the future, this new robot butler is supposed to be able to take on any household chore imaginable. I would like to let robots handle repetitive tasks and routine tasks so that people can be more creative. For example, if the robot does the housework for us, we can dedicate this time to our family and have fun. Or we have more time for our studies. This is how we want to improve the quality of life for people in Japan. Yugo is equipped with a total of 22 sensors and three cameras to assist in navigating space and recognizing objects. Despite being equipped with an AI system, Yugo is still incapable of doing chores properly on its own. So a staff member has to operate it by remote control. A controller synchronizes the robot's movements with those of the human operator. Yugo is still a long way off from working autonomously. So Yugo is operated by someone I don't know from a remote place. What do they see? And does the camera ever get turned off? What happens to my data? Who protects my privacy? Mira Robotics claim that operators only see blurry images. So do robots have to guess what they're cleaning? To someone like me, that's not very convincing. I can be a bit of a neat freak. Toyota is also working on autonomous robots to help manage housework. But there's one issue that is difficult to solve. The robot has to know how much pressure the sponge needs to apply onto different surfaces to properly clean them. With an expensive flat screen TV, the machine should be very careful. When humans and robots work together, security becomes important. This robot is already working with humans in Japan and Europe. Next Age is a humanoid robot developed to collaborate with human colleagues. Companies like Omron and Kawada Robotics are leading the race in developing collaborative robots. These new colleagues have one important advantage over people. Their work is precise and they never get tired. Practically, we have to, to make a serious uh, productivity uh, improvement. And for that, we Japanese uh, use machines and robots to do this. So um, we're, not, uh, we're not scared of robots. Robotics trade fairs like IREX in Tokyo show what the future workplace could look like. In Japan, robot production has long been a key industry. Around 130 companies make robots here. In the past, these trade fairs were opportunities for companies to show off big robots used in industrial production. Now there's a trend towards service and partner robots. Recently, the government's focus has shifted from making new robots to using them sensibly in society. むしろロボットを新しいロボットを開発するということよりも、どうやって 
いち早く社会に実装していくか。I think we need to think of robots as tools or partners to reach our goal of building a better society where people can feel good and healthy. It's a big vision with a long way to go. There are still many technicalities that need to be addressed, particularly because collaborative robots are often a security risk for their human colleagues. Since robots can't estimate their own strength, NextAge operates in battery saving mode. Eight cameras attached to its head and arms are supposed to help the robot to analyze space and objects. Interchangeable robot hands, used to grip, enhance its many uses. But at around 90,000 euros a piece, not every company can afford this technology. Right now, NextAge is just working in the factory. But this type of collaborative robot will be needed everywhere. We're hoping that we'll someday be able to take it to the construction sites,、uh, forestry, fishery,、uh, homes. In Japan, they will not be taking away jobs. Uh, there'll be, there'll be、uh, co workers, partners, that's what I envision. Like many other Western countries, we're still prejudiced against industrial robots here in Germany. The main argument is they'll take away our jobs. But they're leaving out something else. Co working can also make jobs easier. French roboticist Jean Cian Monture has been working and living in Japan for a long time. She says that co working with robots is viewed differently there. There is definitely something with Japan about craftsmanship and about the art of making things perfect. And there is also like a very clear social care、uh, by companies to their workers. And so they never introduce robots to replace workers, but they introduce robots to make the workplace better. Working with a robot is something that is utterly cool, or like having a robot in your company is something that is really nice. This attitude, that robots are cool, is a sentiment that Yugo developers also share. A remote control used by an operator isn't exactly cool, but it's only a temporary measure. Yugo believes that intelligent machines will take on chores independently in the future. Yugo's target audience are the elderly and professionals. The company believes that Yugo can make a real difference in their lives, but it's also expensive. Depending on operating time, the monthly rental costs are between 800 to 1600 euros. The upside is Yugo is supposed to make life longer and more comfortable. In the future, I envision robots entering our houses and doing our chores. So, along with the advancement of medical care in Japan, I think that this will enable people to live longer. Robots like Yugo are also sought after for their ability to assist in medicine. Especially since the outbreak of the coronavirus. Now, robotics companies are equipping their robots to assist in three key areas cleaning. Robots could decontaminate rooms or dispose of hospital waste, so humans avoid risks. Checkups. Robots could help check on patients confined to their beds or in quarantine. This could alleviate the pressure on medical staff. Telemedicine. Robots have been assisting during surgery for a while. In Japan, they're also creating so called surgical robots. Tokyo based startup Riverfield wants to launch its new model in a few years to compete with the current MVP of surgical robots made in the US. When it comes to surgical assistance, Da Vinci is state of the art. This robot can remove tumorous tissue from someone with prostate cancer, but it doesn't operate autonomously. A control panel lets surgeons use the robot arms in real time, which has one big advantage motion scaling and tremor filters. This allows the surgical robot to work more precisely. But the Da Vinci robot has two disadvantages. It doesn't receive any haptic feedback, meaning it can't feel for specific body parts, and it's very expensive. Da Vinci costs up to 2 million euros. Tokyo based company Riverfield is trying to solve these problems. Their robot is quite similar to Da Vinci and will cost less. Here, the robot arms are powered by air pressure. This enables haptic feedback, reducing the risk of patient injury. So, this should make the operation more intuitive. We believe that use of a surgical robot to become much more important in Japan. 
because the aging society is coming and uh, the rate of cancer become increasing in Japan. So these robots are mainly for, a can to, for cancer treatments. Many other countries are also turning to robots to help in the medical and care sectors. Future physicians will have to train intensively to use these new technologies. Robots have lots of benefits, not only for the patient, but also the surgeon. For the patient, hospital stay will become shorter or recovery becomes faster. Also for the doctors, they can do the surgery by sitting in a chair. So fatigue is, uh, can be minimized by using the uh, robot. Surgeons probably won't be replaced anytime soon. But with the right mobile communications, doctors could soon be performing telesurgery across long distances. This may be beneficial for people living in remote areas without access to medical care. Whether they're assisting in surgery or doing chores at home, robots are supposed to help people with things that are difficult or that we simply don't want to do. In Japan, I saw how AI machines are used in daily life. And if it were up to Professor Fumitoshi Matsuno, we wouldn't even be aware of the role that machines play in our lives. There is a term that I always use, which is that of the disappearing robot. By that, I mean that in the future, robots will become invisible to us. They will be such a common part of our lives that we don't really think of them as robots anymore. Well, if my own vacuum robot had only done its job properly, then I'd probably still be using it. Robots for personal use at home. Helpful or just new electronic waste? Let us know what you think on Facebook or DW.com. Head to YouTube for more videos from Japan, including more robots. That's it from me today. See you next time.